is the early leader, but it can all change in the next test, which is observation. This round tests observation, concentration and recall as our contestants are challenged to remember as much detail as they can in a clip from the archives. Tonight we head north to Aidensfield, where the local constabulary are investigating an assault in Heartbeat. Contestants, turn to face your screens. The test starts now. It was a nasty blow to the head. Lucky you don't need stitches. What do you recall of the incident? Did you see your assailant? I saw nothing at all. Uh, yeah, I found some hoof prints on the grass, Sergeant. They stop when they get to the road. Is there anything special about this horse? He's currently 4 to 1 favourite in next week's Gold Cup. Or was. Do you have a photograph of him? I can get you one. He's black, 16 hands, four white socks, a white star on his forehead, and a distinctive white spot on his withers. Between the shoulders, just in front of the saddle, Sarge. Any idea who might have taken him? I don't know. Did anyone know that you were bringing the horse here? My husband. Our divorce is currently with the solicitors. There was a dispute about who owns Lucifer's Revenge, but I didn't think Simon would stoop so low. Life should be strung up. I think that's enough questions for the moment. Make sure he goes straight to bed. He needs plenty of rest. He's not yet a complete invalid. Uncle, I'll make sure of it. We'll be in touch. That's the end of the clip, and now I'll ask questions in turn. A correct answer scores two points, but if they get it wrong, a point will be deducted, and the other contestants have a chance to buzz in and steal the points. But if they buzz in and get it wrong, they too will lose a point. I'm going to start with red. So, Chris, it's your question first. Everybody else, fingers on your buzzers. Chris, what is the colour of the chair the injured man is sitting on? Green. It's not green. John. Brown. It's not brown. It was red. Sally, your question. How many people are in the room? Four. It's not four. <coughs> Dinos? Five. Not five. You both lose points as well. It was six. John, your question. How many lamps can you see on in the room? None. That's wrong. Anybody? <coughs> Chris? Two. It wasn't two, Chris. It was three. Dinos, your question. What marking does the horse have on its forehead? A spot. That's wrong. Anyone else? <coughs> John? A star. What colour's the star? White star. That's correct, John. Well done. Chris, where did the hoof prints stop? On the grass. Not on the grass. <coughs> Sally? At the end of the footpath. It's not at the end of the footpath. It was at the road. Sally, you're on minus two. Let's get this right. What is the name of the missing horse? Footloose. It's not Footloose. <coughs> Chris? Lucifer's Revenge. Well done, Chris. John, your turn. Who knew where the woman was taking the horse? Pass. Anybody <coughs> else? Chris? Simon. It was Simon, who's the husband. Dinos. The injured man insists that he is not yet a complete what? No idea. Anybody else? Sally? Invalid. It was invalid. Well done. At the end of that extraordinarily low-scoring round. <laughs> Dinos, you have minus three. John and Sally have minus one. Fortunately, Ooh. Chris, you win the round with one point. <laughs> So Chris takes the ten points, John and Sally both take six, and a disaster for Dinos means he only gets two. And the leaderboard now looks like this. It literally couldn't be any closer. We have a four-way tie at the top of the leaderboard, all four contestants sharing a Krypton factor of 12. <laughs> so we've reached the halfway point, just two more tests to go, including the pure physical punishment of the assault course for them and pure entertainment for us. See you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to the Krypton Factor, where four contestants are doing battle for a guaranteed place in the semis. After two tests, the leaderboard looks like this. We have a four-way tie at the top, all four contestants sharing a Krypton Factor of 12. So, it's all very cosy at the moment, but a quick trip round the assault course should sort that out. The 2010 Krypton Factor assault course really is proving to be a case of survival of the fittest. And the one obstacle that is the absolute killer is the water tank. Tonight, will it claim another victim? Have a look. <laughs> Sally is off and will get as far as she can with her 45-second head start. She's ranked in the top 50 in the UK for 400 metre hurdling, so she must rate her chance of becoming the first female assault course winner since the Krypton Factor came back to our screens last year. 
That's a good start. And a great landing. And the boys are away and giving chase. Look up! Head down! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dinos and John are up the poles. Chris, yet to live up to his Superman nickname. Great technique from Dinos with a classic landing. John is right behind him. Keep looking forward, keep looking forward. Pick you up. He ducks through the logs. And Chris is finally away, but he's let Dinos build up a big lead over him. Keep going, keep going, yes! Sally needs way. to draw on all her athletics training because Dinos is closing in. Over two, over two. Powering with her arms, that's great technique. He's still close for second and third. Come on! Oh dear, Sally's in trouble in the rat run. She can't oh afford mistakes like that. Come on, yeah! There's Dinos and John. Stop, no, keep moving. Oh, let's go. Oh, go. that's a wonderful yeah. leap from Sally. Go. Come on, Dinos is going to have his work cut out to catch her and to get out of the rat come run. On, John's there, and so is Chris. He's come from let's nowhere. Go. Come on, man. Let's go. Dinos looks let's go. determined to catch Sally. Let's go. Let's go. John's still in third. Oh no, what's he doing? Chris Cruz is past while he's on his hands and his knees. Oh dear. Dinos powering over the cargo net. Sally is already off and away. Chris has taken serious advantage of John's fall. John's a brand manager for Cornish pasties. Maybe he's eaten one too many before the race. Sally must stay on the balance beam. She's nearly there. She's going to do it. Oh, no! Spoke too soon. That's got to hurt. Dinos is right behind her. She has to stay on. No, she's brushed it. This is Dinos' chance. He's wobbling. But he's done it. He's taking the lead. Get in and under. He's in the tank. Sally must stay on this time. And she's made it. The battle for first place is very much on. Poor John flagging at the back. Keep on your arm. It's neck and neck coming out of the tank, though. Keep your bomb down. Keep your bomb down. And Sally's nicked the lead back. Chris is still in contention. I think he's a bit lost, though. Just the late to go. Who is the smart money on the pocket rocket athlete or the lanky math student? Sally's thighs are super strong from hurling. But what about her upper body strength? Chris isn't out of it yet. This is so, so close. Do not give up. John's goal, meanwhile, is finishing. And it looks like Dinos has just edged into the lead. He's pulled a length ahead of Sally. They've got the pain on his face. Go on, Dinos. And he's made it to the bank. But he is done for. Can Sally hold off Chris? She's at the bank too now. And the math student's done it. Get your head under. Get your head under now. I do as he says, John. Get under. Come on. Come on. Chris is focused in his pain. And Sally comes in second. Back in the tank. Pull yourself up. You can't. Oh dear. Is he going to give up? Chris takes third. So John's over the pole. He may have lost the race. He may have lost his dignity. But he's finished. First things first, John, that water looked like it absolutely ruined you. Uh, I think I swallowed and breathed in a load and that just stopped me dead. Painful as it was for you, we enjoyed it immensely, so well done to you. Dinos. I think after that my face should be banned from TV. <laughs> <laughs> but what a result. Well, Sally, she was just off like a rocket and I think when I came down the cargo net, I saw her just tumble off the balance beam. A little bit of me went, yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sally, are you disappointed that you didn't win this one? I always knew that I was going to have to have my lead pretty much intact before we got onto the rafts because the upper body strength was always going to let me down. I gave everything that I could to get past Enos again, but just sapped every last little bit of energy out of me. Yeah, it was still a great result to come in second, though, so well done. And, Chris, did you think you might be able just 
Pip, Sally, as you were going across the water? When I started on the raft, I could see them about getting on for halfway down, and I thought there was a chance, but those rafts are harder than they look, especially yeah. at the end of the assault course, so ran out of time. Well done to all of you. Well done, John, for getting around, even if it took a couple of days. You still made it. The winner, with a great performance, is Dinos.